Oh no, it is raining outside. Oof, and the rope that I had tied in the balcony has also snapped. I had tied it with such difficulty to dry out those washed clothes. What do I do now? How will the clothes dry? But mummy, how did the rope break? Mm, maybe its fiber got weak when the rope got wet. It was only made up of jute. Hmm. In that case, I can go with Bhaiya to purchase a stronger rope. Sure, Sanya. I think that will be big help. But take this umbrella with you. After some time. Mummy, we are back. See, we have got this nylon rope. The shopkeeper said that this rope is very strong and that it will not break like our jute rope, even when it gets wet. And you know. Bhaiya and I tested it too by pulling it from both ends like in a tug of war, isn't it, Bhaiya? Yup. And mummy, the shopkeeper was saying that this rope is made up of such strong nylon fibers that it is also used in rock climbing, isn't it awesome? Hmm. This gets me to wonder which plants do we get these nylon fibers from? <laughs> Sanya. These fibers are not made from any plants or for that matter animals. Nylon fibers are synthetic fibers created by humans. These fibers are used to create numerous things. Even your umbrella is made from it. My umbrella too. Wow, isn't it awesome? Because of its strength and the ability to stay dry for longer, nylon can be used for making so many things like this rope and umbrella. What do you think friends? Can you look around and list out some other things made up of nylon fibers? Bhaiya, I wonder if there are any other fibers apart from these nylon fibers that are made by humans and that are as strong and not spoiled when wet. Hmm, I know. Let's check. Mummy's clothes cupboard for different clothes and see if we can find any. Yes, good idea. Let's go. You know, Bhaiya, last month Mummy had bought a silk sari that was way more expensive than my favorite silk suit. Wonder why there would be such a difference in the prices when both of these were made out of the same stuff, silk? The shopkeeper must have given you a suit made out of fake silk. Oh no, you mean he cheated us? <laughs> no, no, Sanya. This silk-like cloth that Kabir is referring to as fake silk is a man-made fiber. Haven't you read about it in your science book? Friends, I need your help. Can you help me recall the name of this fake silk fiber? Hey friends, look at the sweater which is made up of fake wool. Can you find out the name of this fake wool from your science book? Sanya, see my favorite shirt. You know, this is made out of terricot fiber. Terricot? Yes, remember last Diwali when mummy did not allow me to wear this shirt. Yes. And that is because terracote is a form of polyester, a synthetic fiber that catches fire very quickly. No wonder you were so particular about Bhaiya not wearing this shirt. Kabir, remember how once you had put hot water in a bottle made up of pet and how the bottle had shrunk and melted? Yeah, it had gotten all crumpled up. I guess while these synthetic fibers have their drawbacks, they have a huge list of benefits. That is why their usage is increasing at such a fast rate. Hmm, I agree. Synthetic fibers are strong, light and... Friends, what do you think? What could be the reasons that these fibers are being used a lot these days? Can you find out? Mummy, would you know what fibers are the clothes of firefighters made of? They must be resistant to fire, isn't it? Yes, Sanya. Their uniforms have a plastic layer called melamine. 
that protects the uniforms from catching fire. Oh yeah, I know melamine. When we had bought the melamine utensils, uncle had mentioned that melamine is an ESI plastic which can tolerate heat more. He mentioned that it is also called thermosetting plastic. I remember him mentioning that many common things in our house like electrical switches, handles and utensils all are made up of these plastics. Friends, can you name the type of plastic that can melt while heating? Sanya, do you know that plastic despite its numerous uses can also be harmful to our environment? Have you observed that after using a plastic material, we generally tend to throw it off without giving its proper disposal a thought. This way plastic gets collected in the rivers, on the roads etc, damaging the environment. You know, we had a say no to plastic campaign in school. During one of the sessions, they mentioned that plastic takes more than hundreds of years to decompose. Yes, plastic while being useful is very damaging to the environment. Sanya, I think you should also contribute towards this campaign. Yes, good idea. I can adopt the SR principle. I can use cloth bags instead of the plastic bags and use steel bottles instead of the plastic ones. Yes, reusing is a good way to start. Instead of throwing something after just one use, we can repeatedly reuse those things. Friends, what do you think? Would you want to contribute towards this campaign too? What do you think are some other ways to reduce plastic usage to save our environment? Friends, let us review what we have learned so far. Man-made fibers Nylon Rayon Acrylic and Polyester Characteristics of the objects made from these fibers. Types of plastic and uses of plastic. Solution for plastic disposal.